What makes curly hair? Well, let's just start by saying that genetics plays a major role in determining a person's hair type. Usually if one parent or even anyone in your bloodline has curly hair, chances are you will have some type of curl or bend to your hair. As you know from the previous video, hair is made up of a protein called keratin that grows from a sac called the follicle. Cells in the follicle that produce keratin and other proteins become a part of the hair shaft. These proteins contain sulfur atoms. When two or more of these sulfur atoms pair up, they form what is called a disulfide bond. This linkage is also called an SS bond or disulfide bridge. So once again, a disulfide bond, SS bond, or disulfide bridge which are all in the same, is a sulfur to sulfur bond linking the sulfur atoms of two polypeptide chains. The sulfide bonds are the strongest bonds ever and are difficult to break. They make up the cortex of the hair and give hair its elasticity and strength. When there is a presence of disulfide bonds with groups of protein attached to the hair, the hair will bend and curl. The amount of curl is determined by how much proteins are attached to one another. The more groups of protein, the more the hair curls. So, a person with a kinky hair type has more disulfide bonds present in the hair than a person with wavy hair. And wavy hair has more bonds than straight hair. This type of bond is permanent unless you add processing chemicals like that in relaxers. If you take a look at the cross section of the different shapes of the follicle, you'll see that it consists of a round shape to a flat oval shape. This illustration shows that the hair's follicle shape determines the texture of hair. For example, straight hair will have a perfectly round shaped follicle, while wavy hair has a semi-oval shape, curly hair has an oval shape, and coily or kinky hair has a flat oval shape follicle. So, as you can see, the flatter the circle, the curlier the hair. So a perfectly flat follicle produces a coily hair texture. So if anyone ever asks you why your hair is so curly or zigzags like that, you can tell them one, it's due to genetics, or two, get scientific on them and say that your hair is created by disulfide bonds attached to many different groups of protein. Or you can just send them to this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and please be sure to like, comment, favorite, share, and most importantly, subscribe.